In this video, I'm going to talk about how I came to put the inspirational speaking component of my Performing Strongman show together, whether or not I believe in signs from a greater power, and answer the question of why I still do elementary schools even though I'm getting plenty of corporate speaking and entertainment shows. So today is the day of the gig. I'm scheduled to go on in about a half an hour. Now it's just waiting for an audience to inspire with my feats of strength. I'll give some reflections after the show, just to kind of let you guys know how it went and hopefully answer some questions and stuff. So yesterday's show went well. And you know, like as I'm on my way home, I started thinking about things in the past and you know, all sorts of things go through your head when you're driving alone and you just kind of have to pass the time. <clears throat> so part of it was I wanted to talk about the way I, I put my show together based on the feedback that I get. So when I first started performing, and this was purely feats of strength, there wasn't really a motivational component to it, even though I always thought that, well, I mean, I guess there was a slight motivational component, but not a, a full-on speech like would end up becoming part of my show later. So when I would perform feats of strength, people would ask me questions after the show, once they, found, once they saw what I was able to do, and they would say, what's the secret, and how did I get involved with this? This later evolved into my show. I simply tell my story and the lessons that I learned from my strongman mentors that allow me to do the things that I can do. Now, a, a little more than a month ago, I had done a corporate speaking engagement. Cor I, speaking and entertainment, they're really one and the same. You know, motivational speaking is a performing art unto itself. And just like comedy is a way of making a magic show better, motivational speaking also makes my strongman performance better and vice versa. So going back to the whole answering questions bit, I had gotten a question following my presentation. A guy had asked me if I believed in signs. Kind of like going to the whole law of attraction bit. And yes, I do believe in signs. I believe that when you are open to the signs, it can tell you what your purpose in life is and the best ways to go about it. Hence why one of the reasons I am encouraging people to ask me questions is because it gives me the feedback that I know or that I need to build from there. So this person asking about the signs, I wanna give a personal story of mine. About a year or so ago, I had considered giving up doing elementary schools. My corporate speaking engagements were starting to take off and quite frankly, the money in the corporate world is better. And I was really considering stopping doing elementary schools because I had figured they just simply don't have enough money to pay what the fees that I, I currently command. And also, I wasn't quite sure the kids were actually getting it. Now, I remember distinctly as I was on my way to what I thought would be the last elementary school that I ever did, think, I was thinking, this is gonna be the last one. A bit bittersweet, I'm just gonna try to do as good a job as I can, leave with a bang. Now, after the show, I had gotten approached in the parking lot by one of the staff members in the school and she was thanking me for bringing something positive to the school and this, that, and the other. And then she proceeded to tell me that her daughter's, or her granddaughter goes to the school and her granddaughter's parents were going through a divorce because her mother was being abused by her father. 
and she was just so thankful to me for bringing what I do there. And, and I had said, I'm like, do you really think it made a difference? Do you think that they actually understand what I'm talking about? And they said, absolutely. And what I do is absolutely necessary because unlike adults, kids don't really have like motivational audios and stuff that they can go to for per personal or professional development. That's why s someone like me bringing something positive into their life is a necessary thing. Now, after her telling me that story about um, just having something positive to go bring into her daughter's life with her parents going through a nasty divorce, you know, like as I was leaving there, I was actually brought to tears in the car. And I'm like, that is exactly the sign that I needed. And that is why I continue to do elementary schools even though my corporate engagements are taking off. Now as for the takeaway steps or whatever from, from this YouTube video, I don't know what it is that you're doing in life, but listen for signs, be watchful for signs. Because if you are unclear on what your purpose is, when you are watchful and when you are listening for them, your purpose can become made more clear. And maybe, just maybe, this is the video that you needed to see today. Um, if you liked what I shared, please like and subscribe. And if you think that there's someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. This is Eric Moss, over and out.